dreams are the most misunderstood and misinterpreted in religious cycles. Today, I'm going to throw some light on how to deal with dreams to bring understanding to many. Hey, this is CK again, or Christine, come see me. You are most welcome to my channel. If it, this is your first time here, I am super excited to have you. And this is a channel where we get to break down the big concepts in Christianity to smaller working tips for everyone to be able to manifest the glory of God or to benefit from the promises of God as either you have heard or read in the word by yourself. Stick around. To dream is one way among many ways God communicates to his people, both believers and non-believers. So everyone should dream and actually if you don't dream, there is a problem because it puts you at a risk of missing out God's messages that may come in that manner. But you are not far from the one that dreams and misinterprets them. Dreaming is in the spirit world, or it happens in the spirit world, not in the body. Though it may influence the body a certain way. Some may talk or walk and wake up and do stuff while they are in their sleep. Some wake up tired as if they did not rest, but instead they were working the whole night. Including those who susu on bed, like you dream and ask yourself, but am I dreaming? Or you even confirm to yourself that you this time you are not. And as you begin susuing for long before you finish, you jump out of the dream. And you find actually it was a dream. So, anyway. That bit aside, you access the spirit realm through dreams, but there are other ways like trances, visions, through the word of God that you can access the spirit realm. Generally, how you sleep will determine how you enter the spirit world. For example, if you sleep happy or at peace, joyful, it may lead you to sweet dreams. If you sleep worried with fear or anger, bitterness, hatred, unforgiveness, all these will lead you to have bad dreams in one way or another. But sometimes even when you sleep well, the devil may check in on you to drift you from the truth. So whatever dreams you get, you must know how to handle it by the knowledge you know through the word of God. For instance, many people run to ask Mr. Google. Some run to their pastors, but the first help should be the word of God. It says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And the truth is the word of God, praise the Lord. Like when we were growing up, you would hear people saying that if you dream eating meat, it meant that you're about to hear news of death of someone close to you. Then you would be all ears to hear which news is coming. And you would wonder somehow how are the two connected. But first ask yourself, what does the word say about eating? Ask what about meat? What does the word say about meat? Praise the Lord. So there is an understanding that comes by the word that you know. And you find that even if you dream a bad dream, when you wake up, you know, you know that it was either the devil playing its tricks and it found you looking. So at this time is where you make a laugh at it and carry on. As usual, carry on your day, happy, excited about life, knowing that those were devil's lies. Because you know who you are in God, you know what God says about you, 
you know what the word says verses like i know who i am i am more than a conqueror the one in me is greater than the one in the world no weapon formed against me shall prosper in him i live and move and have my own being what can separate me from the love of christ etc etc mention all those verses that confirm to you what is affirmed in in the spirit praise the lord if the dreams are from god embrace them because they are in uh, instructions there is guidance there is vision praise the lord so don't miss those beautiful messages from god even warnings sometimes so be alert to dreams but let them not drift you from the truth praise the lord it is unfortunate that many pastors and christians still interpret dreams as if tradi traditionalists like culture related way of interpretation but it is important that any dream or dream interpretation is drawn from the word of god since you hear a christian who calls themselves mature and you hear them saying that they entered the spirit world or they had a dream and god was angry ready full of wrath ready to punish god is punishing the world because it has done this and this but you question yourself within when you hear such messages and like but the god we serve is a god who is love the god we serve is a god full of mercy the god we serve is a god full of grace so you notice that yeah she it is true she slept and dreamed and the dream could have had but it defines how she entered in that world she most likely stumbled on familiaring spirits masquerading spirits that present themselves there is a verse in the bible that says that the devil even manifests itself as an angel of light so there are those moments that you see someone is saying that they dream but you're like mm -mm, this was not god speaking though they are saying that god spoke but you really see god cannot go against his word so the word is the only standard that we have to define whether the person is speaking according to how she saw in the spirit but not from the spirit of god or whether they are really true from the word from the, what they saw in the spirit of god praise the lord so if you find my vlogs helpful feel free to subscribe hit the like button and share with friends my links just know if you do that it, you will be participating in spreading this gospel and the bible says that is never in vain hallelujah so we are in this together throw those links share like because when you do that the vlogs keep in the near such a buzz of youtube and and the messages will go to as many as as possible have any questions or topics you would love to be discussed put them in the comment section below and i will get my hands on them and we shall share glory to god i love you and thanks for the love